Good evening. My name is Robert Newman and tonight we're going to cover metadata, also known as meta tags or meta element. We're going to start off tonight's session by covering uh, the closest thing that you have to a dictionary definition of metadata, which is meta element on Wikipedia. If you go to Wikipedia and enter in meta element, you will come to this page. It's my intention that with this tutorial, uh, we're going to show you where you can find metadata, what metadata is, why it's relevant or not relevant in some cases, and how to write your own. So here we are at the Wikipedia page, and I don't want to really cover something in too much detail that somebody can cover for themselves. I do just want to point out that in the early 90s, 90s, metadata was very relevant. It was a major factor in search engine optimization. Uh, these days, it's mostly irrelevant. Uh, currently, most search engine robots are likely to take in such factors as the volume of incoming links, how trusted and relevant those websites that are producing those links are, quantity and quality of content, the precision of source code, uh, and how easy a site is to use, like is it working correctly, so on and so forth. All of these factors are probably more relevant than metadata currently is. However, if you have a large website, or you intend for your site to be large, and you want the search engines to be able to read the site as easily and quickly as possible, metadata is still relevant. Oftentimes, metadata is referred to as meta tags, too. I don't know if I said that or not. So if you're interested to find out a lot of great information about metadata, look up meta element on Wikipedia, and there's literally just pages and pages. Uh, so you can read to your heart's content. Now, if you want a more precise guide, especially if you're in the real estate business, uh, like I am, I've got a good meta tags configuration guide that I enjoy. Uh, I utilize realestatemarketingblog.org as a frequent tool to rely upon. I also direct a lot of my clients to this particular blog. This entry is easy to find. You go to the quick search. You're in, you enter in metadata. Hit the return or enter key. You get your list of results and you'll see as one of the last or very last options meta tag con configuration guide. This is a very basic guide. I like it though. Simple. It's easy to read. If you read the meta element entry on Wikipedia first, this is going to be child's play for you. And this does also explain in layman's terms how to write metadata what it is, so on and so forth. So once again, I'm not going to belabor the point. I'm merely going to show you where to find this tool and move on. Now these next couple of bits are more like insider tips into the world of SEO. First and foremost, you can actually see your competitors' metadata. Uh, we're using Mozilla as a browser, and I will also be demonstrating the same thing on Internet Explorer, which is by far and away the most popular browser on the net. But if you come up here, there's these options. We want view. We then want to go down to where it says page source. We want to open it up. And it's very easy to see at this point. This is a meta title. So here's the title. These are the descriptions, and this is the meta keywords. Now obviously each one of these tiers means something different. These keywords would be keywords that you want to target exactly. The title would be a kind of a cliff note to the entire website, so it's global metadata. And then meta description is actually where you would describe not necessarily using keywords or key phrases, but you want to describe what the website is truly about. If in this case, this is a website about Lufkin, Texas real estate. So you can see that they use some descriptive words that really aren't keyword related in order to describe this site. You can also see as you go further in that 
they've entered in like a little marketing blurb. Gan Med Medford Real Estate provides Lufkin and all of Angelina County with top-notch service. So that's a description of what they want the website to be about. It's kind of like a mission statement for a website, the description. Now the keywords, to me at least, are much simpler because keywords are strictly words that if they're searched in a Google search bar, you want this website to be found for them. Okay? You can do metadata by doing it for the entire site and oftentimes you can even take it down to the level where you can do it page by page. Okay, we're looking at the same site using the Internet Explorer as our browser. With Internet Explorer, you can access the same page source information by coming over here to where it says page, get the drop down, the very last option that you'll see is where it says view source. Click on it, you get a nice organized view of the meta title, meta description, and meta keywords. So earlier in this tutorial, I promised you a SEO uh, kind of tip or cheat. I'm going to use Austin as an example. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter in Austin Real Estate. Hit return. We have our results. What I'm looking for is I'm going to look for another website that would be comparable to my own and in this particular uh, example we're going to pretend that I myself am a Realtor. So I don't really want to stick with Trulia because that's not really a Realtor site, that's more like a property listing site. So I want to find something that looks like a real estate website. Now this has a number and the name of a Realtor on it. It sure does look to me like it's probably a real estate agent site. I'm going to click on it. Okay, so indeed, it is a real estate agent site. And what I'm going to do right now is, let's say I was writing my own metadata. I'd come down here, and I'm and I, I am of course in, for this example, I'm a uh, realtor in Austin. And we can see that he has the meta title. He's kept it very simple: Meta Real Austin Real Estate, Austin Homes. Those are the main real estate terms in almost any geo geo specific area and then we've got his keywords and we've got his description now this isn't all that robust however something that I like to point out to people is that it's hard to go wrong when you've already taken the example from somebody who's in the position with the search engines that you'd like to be in you know for sure that this metadata works it got this realtor to the position that you wouldn't that you would like to have so you can't go wrong with it or at least not really you obviously if at all possible want to have a professional search engine optimization expert do your metadata as well as all sorts of other services but on the off chance that you're trying to get started on a very small budget this was a cheat for you anyway I hope you enjoyed tonight's tutorial and uh, we appreciate you stopping by and checking our channel out